Nice to meet you. As a ninth grade English teacher at Gaithersburg High School, Brett Morales is updated on a yearly basis as to how the students at his school are performing. And when he received that report early in his career, he noticed Latino males had some of the highest numbers when it came to students who dropped out. Same crew in here next Thursday. He decided he wanted to reverse that trend, so he and several of his students started the group Poder. It's about empowering, but it also means to be able. Um, so I think that very much kind of embodies what this group is about. Um, it's about self-efficacy and seeing yourself as a leader and seeing yourself as a competent person. And whether that means raising your own performance, just personally as, as a member of the group, or it means reaching out to others and helping them. Um, it's just all about kind of making yourself um, a better young man in this group. Poder meets every Thursday during school. It's there members discuss setting goals. The first one was involvement, so like how would we get people to join? Learning leadership skills. You guys are now leaders of the group and it's time for you guys to, I guess, uh, mature a little bit more and the other younger people will follow. And provide academic support to one another. They also travel to area middle schools to tutor young men. Poder is a place where growing creative minds come together, something these young men see as a responsibility. It's based to help the ESOL students to feel welcome at the school. I think they really need a role model because I know most of us students in here, we're hardworking, we tried our best in class and to show this elementary kids that it's really important to have a good future. Like when I first joined the group, I wish I had someone that, you know, talk to me a little like bit a mentor? more. Yeah, kind of like a mentor. I know a lot of people in my family, a lot of people in the school that struggle with learning the language and becoming used to all the customs and all the new cultures that come coming to a new country. So, you know, I, I it really touched me because I see it firsthand and um, I really want to not um, let it be so hard for immigrants and all the people that come to this um, United States. So I feel like I, it's my oblig obligation to help. What? So I mean, like, we're so, we're, we're diverse is the good thing. And diversity is good. Well, this year specifically, I started working on my speaking skills and uh, Poder is giving me like a more, a better edge to speak in a crowd of people because um, before it was just like one-on-one -on -one or like the most I'd speak to is like about four people. The reason that I'm, I kind of joined Poder was because I like the idea of what they were trying to do. It was kind of like they recognize the system and they're trying to fix it. The leader of the 45 member group is Danny Rivas. He helped Podair start the weekly mentoring sessions for middle school students, and he also designed a Podair t shirt that members wear to school on meeting days. Danny's parents immigrated to the United States from El Salvador in the 1990s. It is his goal to go on to college and eventually become a lawyer. Poder has given him a sense of value he didn't have when he started high school. Um, I entered uh, high school like really lonely. Um, most of my friends, I guess, we faded away. And uh, Mr. Miles was my first period teacher, and um, he reached out to me and told me about the group and what what the focus of it was. And the primary reason why I joined was out of, I guess, wanting to be a part of something. But um, I guess I quickly became attached to what um, the group was actually trying to achieve. That loneliness that Danny describes is what Morales says leads to these young men not feeling connected to their peers. We're talking about making it as welcoming as possible to our ESOL students and really our Spanish speakers. He believes it's the number one reason they are unable to achieve in school. So we could easily have a translator at every meeting and then that takes away the language barrier and giving them the opportunity to connect is key to their success. It's a network, they have friends here, um, they have a purpose in that um, I always say to them, we can't go to the middle schools and to the elementary schools to mentor and tutor them if we're not handling our own business here. Um, we don't want to be hypocritical in that sense. Um, so I think that it motivates them and, and like I said, just really gives them a sense of belonging in the building. As a group, Poder tries to be as inclusive as possible. As long as participants are showing up for meetings regularly, they are considered part of the group. And it's open to all nationalities. Jake Berry joined to learn about what it is like for these young men to navigate their way through high school. It's definitely important to have that um, point of view because um, I we live in a very mixed area and it's good to have to be integrated with everyone of different culture. There's, there's a language barrier. Uh, most of the Latino population um, are ESOL students who are 
who don't know much English and um, have recently migrated. And we have Latinos who, uh, who were born here and who assimilate well with the rest of the school population. And I think there is a barrier between both both groups? Yes, uh, we focus on the language and we focus on the culture and everything, but ultimately it's about leadership and it's about becoming a better young man. So that obviously is applicable to any and all cultures. So while yes, demographics are changing, I think essentially they're still the same kids and the same students they've always been. That's what it takes. It takes one committed individual, one committed adult, a particular teacher who believes uh, in our young people, particularly our Latino males. We know that there's been issues throughout not only the county but the country. And I love the fact that you are mentoring the middle schoolers uh, and we need to expand this program, this concept throughout our county. We want more people to be involved. Danny Rivas joined Poder as a freshman. He will be a senior next year. Though the group is relatively new at Gaithersburg High School, most of the young men who stick with it do graduate and make positive changes along the way. And because of his work with Poder, Danny was recently named one of Bethesda Magazine's top teens. Brett Morales says he's the backbone of the group. Danny has made this group work. It is a a wildly complex, difficult problem and issue that we're dealing with. And his work ethic is tenacious, and he's never discouraged by failures or shortcomings of the group. He is just the absolute backbone of his dedication. Um, he's so incredibly steady. Um, he is really the consistent leader that this group needed to get off the ground. And, and I really attribute all success um, primarily to him and a few other student leaders in the group. Um, but he's been the backbone since day one. But Danny is humble about his role, giving credit to his peers for where he is today. I think definitely meeting new people uh, and learning from them. You know, maybe my weakness could be a strength of someone else. Having Hispanic males graduate, I think that's, that's definitely uh, something that I have to. I, I feel like it's, it's important for me to do it and I feel a responsibility to do that. Um, so that's probably a reason why I, I joined and I still continue to do it because I love, love the group.